the other thing too that I find uh, that I have found compelling over the years, the twelve years I've been involved with the chapter, and, me, and you know, meeting Wish Kids and and getting to know some of our Wish Kids and teens, is that it's not just that that Wish experience you know provides them a, you know this respite from this difficult time in their lives, but it really, and for a lot of our kids, it provides an inspiration for where they're going to go with their lives going forward. And we have you know we talk about the uh, you know the arc of the journey, and and that when these kids you know when they come out of their Wish experience, they realize you know that they can do more and be more than they ever thought possible. So that, we're very proud of that fact, and and mm -hmm. uh, you know some of our Wish kids. In fact, we had a teen uh, from Queensbury who's, uh, when she was in the hospital uh, for a heart transplant, uh, she played this video game called Guild Wars. And uh, so when she qualified for a wish, uh, her wish was to, she wanted to meet the creators of Guild Wars, which is based out in Seattle, Washington. So she went out there and met them, and actually they were working on the second uh, uh, generation of that, of that uh, video game, and they invited her to help create one of the characters and so on. Mm. So subsequent to that, she graduated from Queensbury High School as a valedictorian, went on to Harvard University. While she was at Harvard, the folks from ArenaNet called her and asked her if she wanted to come out and do a paid internship at, mm. uh, at ArenaNet, and uh, she did that for two years. So I don't know if she finally got hired there or whatever hap what happened with Emily, but um, I mean that's just I mean you just it's incredible. It's just yeah, it's, that's an incredible story.